Welcome back to Cigar Time, your friendly Tuesday night show all about cigars and the art and culture of cigars. We are thrilled to announce, drum roll please, we have put Norway to bed. Nice. They have given up. Nice. They Norway, up. they surrendered. They turned all their viewers over to us. Nice. We now have every cigar smoker in Norway watching our show every Tuesday night. Of course, in Norway, I think it's Wednesday afternoon, but I'm not sure how that time clock worked, but something like that. Uh, we are pleased and honored today to have Vince Foster with us. Vince is the owner and major domo of Cigar Lounger magazine. We'll more about that in just a few minutes. Uh, the lovely Miss Tia will tell us the cigar we're smoking today. Our cigar today is the La Rora Preferido number two. The wrapper comes in a Cameroon or a Corojo. The binder is Dominican and the filler is Dominican. The size is an awesome perfecto. And the taste profile is sweet wood, cream, cocoa, and spice. Cool. I'm going to dig into this one. Very nice. Yeah, I can't wait oh, yeah. to smoke this. But. The size is an awesome perfecto. Is that a I new... I mean, it's a perfecto, but... But it's awesome. Perfecto's it's awesome. awesome. So if there was a perfecto gordo, you'd be in heaven. Yeah. Yeah, I totally <laughs> would. All right, then. And don't nip too much of the tip, the just a little. <laughs> There's a joke in there, but uh, let's not go there. One there somewhere. It's a family show. Let's not lose sight of the fact that this is a family show. Although you kiddies need to turn off right now. You should be in bed. You should be in bed. Don't dirty. forget to finish your taxes. You. <laughs> Lord, gotta have yes, them in. Tax day. That's right. What are they? Yeah, what are they? They're, they're a pain in the butt. Yes, that is a fact. See, I, yeah, I did that. Didn't do the pain. In the butt. I don't have to bleep me this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you wouldn't make so much money, you wouldn't have these problems. That's for I. I can't like touch that. that. All right, what's next? Yeah. What's next? All right. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and we'll yeah. see you next time. Yeah. No, no, no. It's a show just sitting here watching us smoke cigars. <laughs> yeah, we'll spend the next uh, 26 minutes watching us smoke cigars. 26 and a quarter. Well, one of the shows recently, I think, uh, oh, we haven't done that yet. I have a special surprise, I think, for the next show. Okay. Well, Vince, uh, why don't you uh, enlighten us what Cigar Lounger... I mean, I know what it is, but these people at home don't what know. What are you doing here, anyway? I don't know what tell, I'm doing tell here. Tell us what Cigar... Well, you I wish, was promised you're... a free cigar. That's all I know. He showed up. It's easy for at. us to... It's really easy for us to get guests on this can show. I, can I come in and sit down? He would roam through the humidor. I said, you're next. You had pizza out there and a free cigar. I mean, It that's, doesn't get any better than that. It meets everything I need. Um, the Cigar Lounger uh, is a online digital publication uh, that uh, my partner Graham and I came up with uh, eight months ago. It is a free application uh, for all mobile devices and on the website of thecigarlounger.com. It um, is the first fully digital uh, cigar magazine. It is written by and for Cigar Lounge people. Uh, unlike some other magazines, which we won't get into their names, it. Uh, it deals with the average cigar smoker, everything from pairings to uh, reviews to recipes to, you know, different alcohol reviews. And, uh, uh, you know, Scott actually writes an article for us uh, sometimes. No, no $10,000 watches? No. No or Lamborghinis? No. Okay. No. How about golf? So, no golf. So what? Not yet. So no, well, maybe, in, maybe, in the, maybe in the spring. It's been uh, yeah, yeah, a tough winter. Yeah. So. So, <laughs> Scott, so what do you write about? It's like written for poor schmoes like us. That's what I said. Buy Porsche models like us. Buy Porsche models like us, yeah. yeah. And uh, we've been really fortunate over uh, the eight months. We've uh, grown exponentially. Uh, we're at over 20,000 reads in, oh. in over 40 countries. Wow. And um, it's uh, written by different uh, people we've met around the country um, that are cigar people. Um, and it's growing. Uh, and we feel real blessed with that. And, uh, again, if you go to uh, your you know, Apple or Android app stores, it's a free download. Uh, or on the website, but um, we we encourage people also to uh, write articles. I mean, we're going to be we had talked before, Art, about doing an article uh, about someone you know from the aspect of owning a, a cigar store, what it's like. So we'll, uh, <laughs> long hours, low pay. Well, yeah, well, that's I can like. sum it up in that sense. Uh, yeah. so it's the same thing for a magazine publishing thing. So. I have to actually write an article on that, but it didn't make the cut. <laughs> you got rejected? No, you put one in. I was, was rejected. No, no. Really? Was, he actually it was did, bad. He did a couple articles on, uh, he did one about his favorite three customers, the 
types of customers. Yeah, types of types customers. Of customers. Yeah, which was really oh, good. I think favorite three. I do the top three. Uh, like I've done the top three cigars I've ever had. Like of mm -hmm. all time, top three places to smoke a cigar. Music. Top three top CDs three. to listen to. Yeah. Top three uh, books about cigars. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I know. I see this stuff. I sense a so, pattern coming out. Yeah, here. that's what they they asked me to do. I did it. So, are you so, uh, gunning for a Pulitzer Prize? No, we're just happy to try to get more advertisers, and you know, because that's why it's free. Our model is to uh, let the uh, cigar manufacturers kind of, you know, help support have, it. Sure. And, and because it's a digital magazine, it's the first time that the cigar industry can actually do video commercials and. It's not just a read. It's actually uh, like we have Cigar Vixen from California. She actually does a, a video review in the magazine. So does uh, Brian Glenn, who's a big bo uh, blogger yeah. with um, Cigar Obsession. Um, and uh, so it's not just a readable magazine. It's actually viewable. It's interactive. Uh, you can scroll text, and it's it's uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, it's something different. And actually, I'll announce here for the first time, by the time this airs, um, we're actually coming out with a female cigar magazine. It's going to be called La Tabacanista. Wow. So, uh, again, uh, Cigar Vixen is going to be our editor on that. And uh, it's the first female cigar magazine to uh, be published that we're aware of. So. That's fascinating. Because a lot, of, a lot of ladies do smoke. Yeah. yeah. It's, a growing, it's a growing yeah, it's uh, thing, and we, we want to embrace them. I mean, they're welcome to read The Cigar Lounger. Uh, and like I said, we have a few women who contribute to it. And, uh, you know, now we're going to give them a whole form for the Ladies of the Leaf and a bunch of uh, other, mag you know, there's a lot of women that have groups around the country. And uh, we're Ladies going of to the Leaf being yeah. the biggest probably. Yeah. Well, I, here's one question. One of the sections that I think is popular is the, the Smoking Beauties. Mm. Yeah. Um, so now you're having a, a publication for, and you do the photography for this. Yes, I do. You're going to have a, a, a publication for women. No, Scott, you can't pose. In the <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one. Really want to see that. <laughs> we want readers. I was just <laughs> wondering, I was wondering what you're going to do. No, we won't be doing that. Tia, how do you feel about that? Not, not having a, a smoking dudes section in the. I'm very disappointed. Well, all right. <laughs> well, you could just walk into any lounge and see smoking hot guys. So. <laughs> or well, guys, smoking, smoking, smoking guys. Yeah, smoking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Smoking hot is not exactly how I would describe it. Yeah, cigars. Some hot. of them are heavy and sweaty, so that kind of constitutes oh. hot. So only a few I can. Think some of. of them. It <laughs> is a it is a publication that is truly written by like cigar guys. Because I know from one of our stores there are how many four or five contributors at to, least yeah. to the publication from and, and I know these guys and they're no. As Art said, they're no Pulitzer Prize winners. Well, yeah. They're well, just average guys yeah. that like cigars. Well, the one one gentleman is a professor who's actually a professor at St. Joe's. Uh, oh. And actually, Graham and I just last week went down and gave a talk to his class because he teaches entrepreneurship at St. Joseph's University. Cool. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was interesting, you know, hearing the students, uh, the three that were really interested in what we were doing, <laughs> uh, ask questions and what have you. That was good. So, um, But it's growing, and uh, we're always looking to take on... Uh, new writers and anything and we're looking for you know shops such as cigar cigars to submit pictures and write-ups on uh, events that go on we want to we're about the cigar community and we're trying to grow that so you know we want you know people to know I mean the basis of the magazine is also the featured article is generally um, shops we visit and try to tell people when you're in the area go check this hey. one out you know uh, so you know we'll that's that's why one of the reasons it's called a cigar lounger. So, now how do they contact you if they want to contribute? Uh, they can contribute. Uh, just go to the website. Uh, you can email me directly at vince at the cigar lounger dot com or info at the cigar lounger dot com. Little secret: they both go to me. So it doesn't matter which one you send it to. <laughs> Coming to you. Yeah. So you so, can, you can you can browse the magazine on. You don't have to have an Apple or a Droid. You, no, can, you can you can you can see it online. On a PC, an Apple, whatever you. I mean, if you have a way to get to the internet, even a, a digital TV, like a cigar shop. Right, right. If you had a digital TV we do. Uh, that we has do. internet access, we you do. could actually have people watch it on TV. Cool. Well, so, that's pretty cool. Yeah. If you have, yeah, you know, we're the first one to go completely digital. Now, now, in viewing the online magazine, how, how lengthy or long is it? Um, the longest one we've had so far has been like 72 pages. Mm. Um, and cool. there's uh, not many ads as of yet. And we still want to keep, when we do the ads, we don't want it to be like some magazines where it's, you know, a, a, a half ads and half yeah, articles. Yeah. We want it to keep a one-to-one -one ratio. So you're actually going to have more article than you will ads. So. Sounds like a natural for cigar people, cigar yeah. manufacturers. We've we've received a lot of uh, 
all positive emails actually. We haven't received one negative comment and the, the, the one theme always seems to be is like, you guys get it. It's what yeah. the average yeah. cigar smoker yeah. wants to, you know, yeah. it's things that everyone can relate to. Um, so, and, and we're having fun doing it, you know. That's, so. cool. you know, That's I know, the most I, important thing. Yeah, of course, yeah. having like we do. And I know you've dedicated a lot of your life to seeing this through. Well, at least the last eight months. Yeah, yeah. De de dedication. <laughs> yeah, dedication. So, yeah, he's so, younger than he looks. But, yeah, uh, yeah. But you know, prior we had the, the radio show, the internet radio right. show, and and that was kind of the catalyst that got it all started. Um, and uh, since then, we've kind of pushed that off to the side, and we're now chasing a, a, a YouTube version of the magazine kind of thing. It's going to cool. kind of go hand in hand. So cool. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, and, and you know we'll going to be doing something on your show we'll, well, well thank you yeah you know great. definitely uh, let people know the show is out there and let them know where they can sit yeah, yeah. I'll do, we'll do the top three uh tv shows about cigars <laughs> i'll write it up <laughs> get the one in uh constantinople the, that's right i that's just right. want to see when you do the top three people on the show who you pick uh -huh. oh boy uh, <laughs> i can leave now <laughs> Measure your Talk response. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I said. I was curious to see who he's going to pick. Yeah. Depends on the day. Depends on who yells at me in the morning. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, so check it out at the Cigar Lounger, like I said, in your app store or uh, on the website. Cool. So, and we talk we talk about our lounges and the memberships all the time, and this is a this is a perfect example of two uh, members, or actually Vince at one point worked with us, uh, getting together and forming a business. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It happens all the time. This is just one example of oh, it. Oh, cigar shops are a phenomenal uh, way of networking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. A lot of business is done in our lounges. I know that. Oh, yeah. Cigar <laughs> Cigarpreneurship. Cigar oh, look at that. You couldn't well, I phrase. almost couldn't even say Hashtag cigarpreneurship. All right, before we, before we learn more about Vince and Cigar <laughs> Lounger, I think it's time for us to uh, talk about our La Aurora Preferido. So I'll, who wants to start? I'll go first. Uh, I think when you start, you should tell them which one you're smoking, whether it's yeah. the, you know, the Corolla mm -hmm. or the Cameroon. Good point. I'm smoking the Cameroon. Um, love Cameroon. Uh, we all love Cameroon, as I found out the last couple shows. Um, I'm definitely tasting the sweet wood. Um, getting a little bit of the spice, but it's not too much. I'm not sure about the coca, but I'm definitely getting the sweet wood. It's very creamy. Uh, I love the wrapper. It's got a nice sheen. The band is very cute. I love the lion. Oh, oh my god! My sister it's would cute. love this. She's well, a Leo. Because so there's I'm, a lion on it. Yeah, I'm gonna save this band for her. I'm gonna collect like thirty-two thousand so I can get a horse. You can get horse her buggy. a horse-drawn yeah. buggy. Yeah, with, <laughs> with no horse. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I think it's very smooth and tasty, and it's a perfect size. Rob, very nice. Um, I also like Cameron wrappers. Uh, I do yeah. get the wood uh, and the cream. I don't. I don't, again, I don't like you. I don't get the cocoa uh, taste to it. I do get the spice. Um, it's a perfect size, I think, especially if you're driving in your car. Uh, it's a yeah. great size. It's a good 20-minute uh, cigar. So, Would you describe uh, it as smooth at all? <laughs> <laughs> it has smooth attributes. Okay, yeah. just, just smooth attributes. Cool. I like the way it feels in the mouth. Well, I'm smoking the Corojo, so I'm actually getting the exact other half of the tasting notes. So I do get the cocoa, Ooh. and I get lots of the spice. The wrapper is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It's got a great sheen to it. It's, it's a little it, reddish hue to it. It, it. The color is great, and there's uh, no pronounced veining to it at all. Mm -mm. Uh, sometimes uh, perfecto shapes like this can draw poorly, at least when you first light them up. Yeah. And yeah. this one was this one was great from the get go. I like it a lot. Yeah, it did. It, it, it opened up right away. I was yeah. expecting a little yeah. bit of a tough draw at first, but I, I didn't find that at all. I am also smoking the Corojo, um, echoing Paul's comments with the wrapper. Um, and I also am getting, um, especially on the retro ale, I'm getting some, uh, a, a lot of spice on that. And uh, definitely the, the cocoa is clear. I mean, it's like a blast of like uh, Hershey's chocolate right in your mouth. Mm. The nice. cocoa powder. And the Corojo. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like yeah. The, the powder. Yeah. And I'm going to smoke a Corojo. All right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Let's do two. Let's do two. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm smoking the uh, Cameroon. Uh, the construction is really good. Uh, beautiful draw on the cigar. And uh, I'm getting the wood. I'm getting a little bit of the spice on the back end. Yes. Wood. Yeah. Just a little bit in the back yeah. of the palate. He's uh, getting wood. But that I'm not, good? not so much the cream, but I am getting a, the heavy wood, yes. which I enjoy. Heavy so, uh, yeah, again, La Aurora just oh. comes through with another great stick. Yep. Cigar. Better than Perth. The only thing. Okay. 
uh -oh. that I would say negative about this cigar is small. that they're very expensive. Yes. Yeah, well, I was going to come to that. Uh, my comments are this, this is a super premium cigar. This is not an everyday <laughs> smoke some. for the average, you know, smoker. I mean, these cigars retail upwards of $16 a piece. Uh, they're well constructed. It's a delicious cigar. It's a, like I say, a super premium. But don't worry, we're not going to be selling them for $16. You know that. You've seen our previous shows. You've come in and bought a lot of boxes from us. That's so we're going to, we're going to, we're going to have a super duper special on this. But more about that after we rate them. Are we going to rate it? I think, I think, I think we're going to rate them now. Okay. Yeah. 4.75. Oh, that's good. Wow. Okay. Uh, I give it a four six five. Paul, <clears throat> four seven five. I'm loving this. God. <laughs> this is um, better than most of the preferidos I've had. I I warned them before the show. Like we're doing a special on them, and I, I I'm not a I'm not a big fan of it. I'm going to give this one a four point two five, which is much much better than I anticipated. Yeah. 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 This is this is a very good cigar. Vince. Yeah, I'd go with a 4.25 because I, you know, again, I don't know how your rating system, but I also one factor in. One to five. five. Okay, but I, I factor in also price point. Yeah. And, well, and yeah. Okay, well, okay. You know, so. The established retail price, yes. Yeah, it's price, it is price. Yeah, this one is. Yeah, it's a super it's, price. It's a good but stick. I'm rating it off of our specials. Yeah, it's a very good stick. Um, it's Cigar. not a, to me, uh, a wow stick that, Cigar. you know, I'm, <laughs> you know. So I'd go with a 4.25. Yeah, it's a good stick. Yeah. Cigar. It's an excellent ah, stick. Well, cigar. So you should break the ratings up because they're smoking Corojo. And yeah, I was, I was going to point that out. So. Some on my right are smoking Corojo. Mm -hmm. Some on my left, including myself, are, are smoking the Camarillo. We're 4.5 over here. Something like that. I uh, I happen to love this cigar. I also like, we, we have some left in the Connecticut, but I like the Connecticut as well. haven't smoked the Corojo yet, but I will very shortly. Uh, it's a super premium cigar at a super premium price. And this uh, this size is uh, fourteen seventy five a piece. Yeah, something. So like for that. the whole bundle, it's uh, three hundred eighty six seventy five. I think it's three hundred sixty eight. What I say? It's okay. You're, we don't love the size. It's like anything over three fifty. I've had a lot of yeah, but anything there. like he said, anything over three fifty. Three sixty eight seventy five. They put the Rob cigar. tax on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? We're not going to sell them for fourteen or sixteen or whatever the devil it is. How about if we sell them for? What do you think? We're going to go off of my well, head. Oh, you know, hey, it down. I'm like 400. Oh. <laughs> All right, how about 300? What kind of discount is that? 10%. That's $68. That's more than 40 percent See, and that's why you knew off. how to do math. How about $100, $100 off. off? You don't care how you spend my money. Two hundred and six. Yeah, that's, that's $100 off. $100 off. That's Done. Not, no, we need more than that. No. 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 I'll pick it. No. <laughs> He's going to let me pick. Uh, uh, $200 off. I was going to say uh, $175. Well, that's $200 off. $200 off. Well, he wants $400. That's like $8 off. No, I'm not off. Jeez. I want $400. Yeah. I want no, he 200. wants 400 I want 400 for over. <laughs> How bad do you really want to sell these? Well, we got a lot of them. No, well, that doesn't matter. We'll kidding. sell them eventually anyway. I mean, do we really want to start a stampede? All right. How about 60% how about one twenty nine ninety five? Wow, that's sixty percent off. That's wow. like that's like a little over five bucks a piece for a super premium cigar. Wow. That that you get a nice long smoke out of. Don't let the size fool you. It's packed. No, yeah, absolutely. You're gonna get it's a gonna nice. It's gonna take a while to smoke this. It's gonna take a while to smoke it, and uh, we're gonna limit five to a customer. In your choice of either Cameroon or Corojo, and uh, it's available at all nine of our stores. And all nine of our stores are where, Rob? Uh, Horsham, Phoenixville, Colmar, He's counting. Uh, Reading, Oxford Valley, um, Westchester, Freehold, Malvern, and Ludwig's Corner. Wow. I got to do them in order. Like, so you are the numbers. I want to be tested you, oh, next that's time. Good. I, I didn't think about that. That's good. Do them in, yeah, I right thought you were going to try to make time will come. Uh, notice no. that everybody that names the yeah, stores counts name, on their fingers. fingers. Yeah. <laughs> I just do them by number. That's all. Now, That's how I did it. Paul, I'm putting you in charge of security. You're, 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 you will have to get the, the parking people 
for the herd. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The herd okay. of cars, cords, or whatever yeah, you, you call them. Yeah, you're going to call the police so they can direct and, traffic. And internal security <laughs> to make sure. I thought you meant you wanted me to hold on to all the cigars. Uh, <laughs> no, that's, we'll be not, going in a day. that's not very secure. <laughs> <laughs> so while supplies last, limit five to five bundles to a customer. And I, I might as well tell you, these cigars often come in fancier boxes with tubes on them. But we're not charging for any of that. Matter of fact, we're giving you a, a lot more off than those tubes and boxes are yeah. worth by a, by a, a long. We were able to strike up a deal with the manufacturer, and we we're able to bring them to you for one twenty nine ninety five. So, start running to your nearest cigar cigar store. But before you do that, go to the website. Paul's going to tell you what you have to do. You have to jump through one minor little hoop. One little hoop. Go to our website. That's cccigars.com or doublecigars.com. Love it. And uh, you'll find a coupon there, either print it out or save it to your smartphone. And there's a little validation process on the, on the site. And then just bring it on in and get your bundles for $129.95. And as a special, for the next three days only, those of you who buy a bundle of these fine cigars will get a moral and hearty handshake as you pay. Okay. Or a hug from me. Or a hug. I'll be right there. I think it's time for Scott to talk about our flavor wheel. I can do that, but Paul, did you want to do, I think you wanted to talk something about well, identifying yeah, I, flavors first. I just wanted to, to mention, you know, we talk about the different flavors that come up in the cigars that we smoke. Uh, the companies all have flavor notes about the cigars that they manufacture. Some of the magazines have all sorts of strange and in interesting flavor descriptions. And we thought it would be very helpful to all of you if we gave you a consistent method for identifying the flavors in the cigars you like and then being able to find other cigars that have those flavors. And Scott did the heavy lifting to create this new language for you. Yeah, well, it's it's kind of a, a, a we're, we talked last week with uh, Tim Person from Altidus, um, and he was talking about education. And this is one of the things that we are consistently trying to do is educate the customers. Um, and we get questions all the time about flavors and what's this cigar taste like? And you know, what do you mean that, that, that they said this cigar was grown in the shade of a lemon tree and all that kind of stuff. So <laughs> we try, I mean, what we wanted to do is, is develop a system um, that customers can find the cigars that they think are going to appeal to their flavor profile. So basically in the middle are your basic flavors, which are uh, caramel, woody, earthy, spicy, sweet, animal, fruity and floral, and then creamy. Animal. Part of which is, what is animal. Animal. <laughs> yeah. Most meaty, meaty. Um, okay. I've got I a lot of cigars. I think have a, like a kind of a, a leather flavor. Like a wet dog taste? No, <laughs> meaty <laughs> leather. A wet dog. Um, <laughs> so, so that's kind of in the middle. And then in each one of these different brackets, we kind of we expand it out. Like in the, in creamy, there's other different flavor profiles or different descriptions of flavors. Um, so what we've done is we've we've enlarged these. Uh, in each of our stores, there's a, a giant flavor wheel, um, and. You can take a look at this and take a look at the flavors that you think are going to appeal to you. And then each one of these has a different color. So um, that color identifies the basic flavor, uh, the, the, where it's located in the flavor wheel. And what we've also done is we have shelf talkers. We've had these for a while, but we're now putting the flavor, the, the flavors from the wheel and identifying them on the shelf talkers. So these shelf talkers identify the cigar, gives basic description of the wrapper, the binder, the filler. Um, and give a little bit of a description of the flavors you're ex you can expect, but to make it real easy, we've put the colors at the bottom of it. And those colors, again, coordinate with the flavor wheel. So if you discover that you like a caramelly, wet dog uh, tasting yeah. cigar, and you want to find another caramelly, wet dog tasting cigar, all you have to do is find that color find dot. the red, the blue, and something else. And and then look for cigars that are marked that way. And if you've never had that cigar before, you'll have a good chance of getting the wet dog flavor that you like. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it is something that we, we have had for a while in one of the stores, and it's been very well received by customers. So well received, that's why we've decided to expand it. And 
we're always we're always trying to educate customers, and that's I think I think everybody here is going to agree with me. That's one of the things that's the most fun about this job is when talking with customers and them asking us questions. Um, so I we're do always like that part. yeah we're always trying to improve education, and, and this is one of those ways that that we've developed to do that. And I shock them every time, so yeah, I yeah. enjoy that. I do. Nice. That's a taser. You can it's it's a way for us. <laughs> it's a way for us to do our absolute favorite thing, which is to help you find the best smoking experience you can get. Yeah. And I said, what, you know, what's my job? And I tell people I'm a research analyst. <laughs> I am. I mean, our job is to talk to the customers, ask mm -hmm. questions of the customers, find out, you know, what they, we think they're going to like, and then meet that need. We find the pair cigar that's the pair them up, and that's, that's what a research analyst does. By Thanks the way, any channel. any yes. pairing any pairing thoughts about what you would enjoy drinking with that cigar? Ooh, um, I'd like I'm a gonna nice go with the brandy with this one. Brandy. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna go brandy because of the spice. Yeah, I would go with a nice spiced rum, like a Ooh. dark rum. Ooh. That sounds this. excellent. Okay. Yeah. I would go with Deer Park bottled water. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, I'm a bourbon drinker, so I would. Drink a nice like wild turkey is very smoky and yeah. that's what Something I enjoy. Something smoky, yeah. 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 So I, I like the sweeter. So I would go with um, a like port. a fruity. Well, I was gonna say a fruity sherry or oh, a okay. port. Like the, the Jimenez sherries, I've discovered that recently. Fantastic. Very good stuff. And I think that the spice of this would stand up really nicely to a dark beer. Not necessarily a stout, but maybe something like a Modelo Negro, dark Mexican beer, or w one of those richer, darker mm -hmm. beers. Mm -hmm. That's well, cool. Well, getting back to Vince and Cigar Lounger, uh, I guess your short-term goal is to try to get some advertising from some of the cigar manufacturers. Yeah, and we have some. We have uh, a few companies that have been really good to us, good. And, and there's more coming on board. It's, uh, you know, again, they want to see numbers, they want to see traction. Sure, And sure. Uh, we're, gain we're gaining that. Uh, Any you can talk about? Uh, well, Gurkha and Taranos uh, oh, cool. are, the, are the two biggest supporters. Uh, they've been more than gracious to us. Uh, so again, I can't say enough to, you know, to try those sticks, which you can get cigars. at Cigar Cigars. They sell both sticks. Cigars. cigars. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, by all means, grab a, a Taranos uh, or a San Lucia. Actually, this weekend, we just did an interview with Good. San Lucia. Good. Uh, he's a great guy. Yep. You know, so uh, yeah. by, you know, you know, support Taranos and Gurkha and San Lucia. Smoke and Cigar sticks. Cigars. Well, thank you. Cigar Cigars. Smoke well, we want to thank, thank you very much for oh, thank you. guesting in on our show today, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you many times in the future. Well, I'm a regular. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is He's there when I get there in the morning. Half the time. <laughs> well, as always, these shows go by way too fast. So I guess uh, anybody else, any final comments? Any baseball is there, season's is there, here, is there a, warm is weather is here. coming up that we need to mention? Uh, well, I don't think we have enough time to, just go okay. to, no. to get into all that. Okay. So I guess it's uh, time to... Hmm? Just a special. special. It's a special. special. Remember, enough. instead of 368, it's 129.95. Limit five to a customer. Oh, and it, yep, yeah, while supplies last at any of the nine cigar cigar stores. So say goodbye, panel. Smoke Bye. happy and smoke often. Life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. Hi, mom. <laughs> Thank you, and check out thecigarlounger.com. Absolutely. Smoke sweet. Bye, bye, smells. Bye, dad. Ciao for now, everybody. Again, thank you for your patronage, thank you for your viewership, and we'll see you same time next week at Cigar Time. Thank you. <laughs>